Hi, I'm Dr. Waylon Sternglands in the College of Psychology at Nova Southeastern University. And I'm making this video for students who, in the uh, Farquhar Honors College, as well as students in the College of Psychology, uh, and finally for students who might be thinking of applying to our master's degree program in experimental psychology. Uh, and I'm just here to talk a little bit about my research and kind of area of specialty. Uh, so first of all, I am a social psychologist. Uh, that does not mean a psychologist who likes to go to parties a lot. Uh, social psychology is actually defined as the scientific study of how people's thoughts, feelings, and behavior are influenced by the real or imagined presence of other people. So social psychologists study things like judgment and decision-making or prejudice or attraction or obedience. Um, I'm actually primarily interested in interpersonal perception. So in other words, how good or bad are people at figuring things out about each other's personality traits or emotions or whether or not they're telling the truth? Um, so let me talk a little bit about some of my past research uh, and then I'll talk about some of my current and ongoing research. So in the past, I've examined um, people's ability to figure out each other's emotions, uh, comparing strangers, less close friends and closer friends. Um, I've looked at the strategies people use for getting away with their lies. So for example, one potential strategy that people use if, if they are uh, accused of some serious wrongdoing is they will confess to a lesser offense and doing that can actually make them seem more forthright, it turns out. Uh, and that was some research with Bella DePaulo. And uh, finally, I've looked at different strategies people use for detecting lies. Uh, it turns out that people are really bad at lie detection generally, only a little better than chance. So if we could find ways to improve lie detection, that would have some important implications for everyday interpersonal relationships, as well as, you know, things like uh, terrorism detection and so on. Um, so anyway, we've examined things like uh, uh, thin slices of behavior. So in other words, if people see only a very brief video clip of someone who is lying, does that improve their lie detection ability? Um, we've examined the different uh, types of lie detection. So for example, detecting everyday mundane lies and how that compares to detection of people who, of lies told by people who are accused of very serious crimes. Uh, we've also examined the role of personality, both of the would-be liars as well as the lie perceivers. Um, so anyway, uh, I've also looked at some other research that didn't really have, uh, wasn't really within the domain of interpersonal perception per se. Um, I've examined uh, the ability to um, come up with creative solutions to problems and how that can be influenced by uh, when we are trying to suppress our thoughts. And that was with the late, great Dan Wagner at Harvard. Uh, and then I've also looked at the uh, psychological antecedents of health risk behaviors among homeless adolescents. Uh, and that was with Lynn Rue at the University of Texas. So currently my research is focused in a few different areas. So first of all, I have uh, some studies in my sort of main area of interest, lie detection, uh, looking at what's called implicit lie detection ability. So in other words, um, sometimes people can detect that there's something different about a lie, even if they don't know it's a lie per se. Uh, so I have one study with uh, Dr. Wendy Morris at McDaniel College on that, another study uh, that I'm just beginning with Dr. Justin Landy here in the College of Psychology. Um, then I'm conducting a study on the current COVID-19 crisis, looking at the psychological correlates uh, of preventive health behaviors, so things like wearing a mask uh, and so on. And that study is with Dr. Madhavi Menon here in the College of Psychology and Dr. Bindu Mai, uh, who is a microbiologist. Uh, and then I have a study on turn signal use while, while driving. What are the predictors of whether or not people will use their turn signal when they're making a turn? Uh, so anyway, if you're interested in any of this research or just knowing more about social psychology generally, please get in contact with me. Uh, you can find me on the College of Psychology website, uh, or you can email me at S as in Sam, T as in Tom, E-R-N-G-L-A at nova.edu. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing from you.